Welcome back. You don't have to look far in Philadelphia to find beautiful murals. They are on walls all across the city. Eyewitness News reporter Victoria Woodall shows us one of the newest that was just finished in West Philadelphia. Much of the stories we hear about ourselves are wrapped in trauma and sadness and, and difficulty. And I think, well, that is very much an aspect of who we are. It's not the entirety of who we are. If given a canvas as large as a library wall, how would you paint your legacy? What would it look like? And as people walked by, how would you want them to feel? While well, Mural Arts Philadelphia had muralists, artists, volunteers, and students in their Artpreneurs program working together to explore that very opportunity. Much of our work requires a village and collaboration. Um, so working together helps make the art more meaningful. It sure does. The new mural titled Legacy on the Lucian E. Blackwell Library was the vision of Philadelphia-based fashion designer Wale Odege, a vision for a future that not only includes students like James who had a hand in it, but everyone who works hand in hand for a brighter tomorrow. This work is as much as it's a love letter to the stories of people who look like me. It's all also a very obvious reference to classic European art that we Kind of what we think of as a standard of beauty. So when you see people like us in these beautiful works, we're literally in the back carrying a tray if we're there at all. Usually when we see paintings like this, we're usually not in it. Yeah, we're in the front. Like, we're the main focus here. So when we think about art and beauty, it's not just marble sculptures, it's not just Michelangelo, it's a kid like James from West Philadelphia, it's people who look like the community around us. Eventually we become those who we aspire towards. When people walk by, even when I see it too, I just want to like feel like I'm somebody, feel like I'm bigger than I am. And to see it now in this day and age is just beautiful, it's really empowering. Victoria Waddle, CBS3 Eyewitness News.